Welcome to CCS Quick Tips. This quick tip will demonstrate how to run a simple JTAG connectivity test to validate your target configuration file and physical JTAG connection to your device. This can be accomplished by pressing the test connection button in the target configuration file. This will have CCS automatically execute various low-level JTAG tests on the configured device. If this button is grayed out, then either the target configuration file has not been saved, or the connection type being used is not supported, such as non-XTS based connections. When I press the button, a dialog will appear with the results of the test. Various data will be logged, including information on the controller, library used, the JTAG IR and DR length, and results of the integrity scan test. The information you want to key in on are the results of the scan test. These tests will circulate bits on the JTAG scan chain and verify the values that come back. If all JTAG integrity scan tests for IR and DR pass, then you have a good JTAC connectivity between your device and the debugger. This also confirms that your target configuration file is valid. Thus, if you run into connection issues during debug, you can assume that the issue is not related to the configuration file or physical JTAC connection, but related to something else, like a CCS debugger or emulation driver issue. However, if these scan tests fail, then there is likely some issue with the target configuration file or some issue with the physical JTAC connection itself. It could be a bad physical connection or perhaps interference that is impacting the signal. Thank you for watching this quick tip, and have a good day.